Maybe you or a friend or family member is behind on their mortgage and are trying to figure out what it all means. No, it's overwhelming, it's confusing, and that help, it's available. So let's answer the question about what the difference is between pre-foreclosure and foreclosure. And as a bonus, let's also talk about what REO stands for and what that means. Okay, let's say that I'm not able to afford the mortgage on my house. Most people believe that if you miss the mortgage payment on the first of the month, then well, you're late. This is not true. You have a grace period until the 15th of every month. You are late on the 16th, but it's just kind of late. Yes, it's true. You are late and you will be assessed a late fee, but there will be no impact to your credit as long as you pay by the end of the month. That's why I say it's uh, kind of late. The late fee thing, it's annoying, but your credit, it's not harm. So in the grand scheme of things, who cares? The mistake, it just cost you a couple bucks. Okay. Once you're a month late, that's when you've moved over to the pre-foreclosure pool of loans. This is essentially when the bank will most likely move the loan to the loss mitigation department. Most. I say most because all banks don't operate the same. But most banks won't really do anything for the first 90 days. They may call to try to get some money, send a couple automatically generated notices outlining a borrower's options, but they don't really take it at all that seriously at this time. They're hoping that the homeowner actually ends up curing the loan. It's after 90 days, that's when banks start to move forward and take it a little more seriously to begin the actions of actually settling the debt. Now, for some banks, it might be 120 days, but even then, the timeline may not necessarily be set in stone. Some banks may even take a little bit longer. If they had a surge of loans that were sent to the loss mitigation department, they're ultimately just working through a backlog. This entire process of essentially one month late to either 90 to 120 days late is the entire time, which is known as pre-foreclosure. Now, once the loan is transferred to the foreclosure department and the actual foreclosure process is started, that's when a homeowner is in foreclosure. So what is foreclosure? It's a legal process through which a lender takes ownership of a property. Now, the lender initiates foreclosure proceedings to recover that outstanding balance of the loan by selling the property through a public auction. So the loan being transferred to the foreclosure department and then initiating the foreclosure proceedings is when a borrower is now technically in foreclosure. And you know when you're in foreclosure because the bank tells you the frequency of calls and the letters greatly increases. Yes, you're still going to get your normal loan statement each month, but you're also going to get a lot more. They're going to flood you with mail. But a quick side note here, don't hide from the lender. If they call, pick up the phone. Let them know that you're still living in the house and that you're not able to make the payment in full. Now, a bank, they're going to prioritize a property that they have deemed is vacant in order to actually protect that asset. So how long is the actual foreclosure process, you ask? Well, that depends on the state, depends on the situation. Some states are quicker than others, but know that once a foreclosure date has been set, you're now officially playing with a little bit of fire here. The time is coming and it's coming quickly. The property will go to auction. Now, if possible, a bank will generally happily let a property sell at the auction, provided that the balance that is owed is clear. Who is at these auctions? Well, they're investors looking to get a good deal on a property. They buy them sight unseen. So let's say I had an outstanding balance of $300,000, and that included all my late fees and attorney fees. The bank will generally open the bid at $300,000. If an investor steps in an amount that is over the $300,000, then the bank just happily walks away. If an investor doesn't feel the property is worth the 300 grand, then the bank will most likely end up buying the property back at the auction. This is when it becomes an REO or otherwise known as real estate owned. Most people confuse the REO term with foreclosure. They'll say, I want to buy a foreclosure. This is technically incorrect. They really want to buy an REO because as we just discussed, a foreclosure is the process. Now, technically them saying they wanted to buy a foreclosed property would be correct, but We've started splitting some hairs here. The important thing is to know that there is a difference between the two. A big difference, actually, as it shows where you are in the process and how much time that you've got left. The more time that you have left, well, the more options that you have. Options like modifications, selling the house traditionally to maximize the sales price and thereby the proceeds where the balance goes to the homeowner's pocket. But as you get closer and closer to the closing, then the amount of options, it really starts to drastically decrease. And we can generally close in a home within 14 days, but let's hope there are no title issues and that everything goes smoothly. We can a lot of times get a foreclosure date pushed off with a signed offer, but there are no promises. 
Some states have redemption periods where a homeowner can buy back the house. Others don't. This is a complicated process, which is why if you're in it, then you should reach out to someone. I'm here to help in any way I can. I buy houses all over the country, but I've just been doing this for a while. So if you need help, please feel free to reach out. Again, my name's Jeffrey Chubb and my number is 617-775-7687. My email address is jeff at boston2.com. And sometimes we can be very creative in the things that we can do where we'll buy the house. And a lot of times the owners, the old owners will actually end up staying in the house for a period of a year or two. Reach out, let's chat if you're in this type of buying. Until next time.